Hello, hello everyone, and if you're looking for a way to play the latest Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the game is now out and you'll be able to play this game into your PC and in the Switch. But in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you where to get all of these files here so that you'll be able to run this game perfectly into your PC. So these are all the files as you can see, and that also you will need to install the latest build of Yuzu Emulator. So for those who don't know, Yuzu Emulator is an app that will be able to play you Nintendo Switch games as long as you have all these files here installed into your Yuzu Emulator. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Yuzu. To do this, just open a web browser, just type in Yuzu Emulator, and hit search. Use emulator.org is their official website. Click on that. Go to download button here. And then if you're using Linux, you can just go to Linux here and just manually download them. But for me, I am using Windows and I have already installed using layer. So I'm just going to skip on the download and installation process because that is really easy to do. And that is really straightforward and anyone can do this and any noob can do this actually because it's just hitting OK to everything and you'll be able to install them into your PC. So I'm just going to skip on this part. And I'm just going to assume that you have already downloaded and installed the latest build of Yuzu. So if you have done that, now boot up and run Yuzu Emulator now so that you'll be met with certain errors saying that you will need some certain files installed into your Yuzu Emulator. So once you're asked of this, so you're asking me what are those files that are needed. So the files that are needed are the Nintendo Switch firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys. And this should be both in version 16.0.2 in order for it to run and play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom should be in XEI or NSP file format in order for Yuzu to detect this game. But my version here is XEI file format. So if you followed all the steps in this video tutorial, then you'll get all of these files here. So um, if you're asking me where to get all of these files, the only legal way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console and that you have modded it and have installed a custom firmware in it. Because if you have installed a custom firmware from it, it means that you can access your Nintendo Switch system files because you have a custom firmware. And once you have access to those system files, then just copy all of the firmware files and the keys files from the Switch into your PC. Now, in order for you to get the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the most legal way to do this is just buy the game, own the game, and have a physical copy of the game, and you can just digitally back that game into an XEI or NSP file format. So that's how you legally back up games. So now, uh, if you have a Switch and don't know how to mod or install a custom firmware in that Switch or that you don't own a Switch but want to play this game, then I'm just going to save you the hassle and teach you where to get all these files. So in order for you to get all of these files here, I'm just going to leave a QR code here in the screen so that you can scan it with your QR code reader into your mobile phone so that you will be redirected to the page wherein you can get all of these files. So. Once you have used that QR code and you have been redirected to the page, be sure to hover down into the middle part of the website so that you'll get The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom in XEI file format. Once you have that, hover down into the bottom part of the website so that you'll get the Nintendo Switch firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys. Then transfer them from your phone to your PC. Okay, so once you have done that, then you'll have a copy of those files into your PC. Now, I'm going to assume that I, you have already downloaded and installed all those files here and that you have a copy of it into your PC now. So it's time to install them into your Yuzu emulator so that it will be able to play this game. So to do this, all you have to do is go to Yuzu, go to File, open Yuzu folder, and open Keys folder here, and then open the Keys zip file here. And then all you have to do is drag and drop or copy and paste these files into this folder, okay? So this folder should be empty because this is your first installation. Close to that, and then go back to Yuzu, go to File, and then open Yuzu folder, and then go to NAND folder, go to System folder, Contents folder, Register folder, and it's time to install the firmware file. To do this, just go to Firmware, and then open, I mean, select all, all these files, copy them, and just paste them into this folder. Um, this folder should be empty because this is your first installation, okay? And then it will copy all the firmware files so that it will detect your Nintendo Switch games into your PC now. Then I'm going to close in this. And your Yuzu is now capable of booting up Nintendo Switch games. You'll know that it's successful because it will show you all of the game icons for your Nintendo Switch games into your PC now. So if there are black icon or black icon, that means that you are using an outdated firmware and keys from your Switch to Yuzu. 
So what's the next step now? The next step now is to optimize your user emulator so that you'll be able to play the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom perfectly into your PC. To do this, just go to emulation, go to configure, and in this part, just pause the video and copy every setting that you see from here on out. So uh, these are the settings for the general tab. Hotkeys, UI, web, and debug is set to everything to its default setting. I go to system, language, uh, you can just change this to what language you prefer and the region you prefer. Now I go to CPU. Uh, I have set it to uh, auto for the accuracy and here in the graphics tab. So this is the most important part. API should be in OpenGL, but some games will require you to change them into Vulkan. So be sure to do that. Then uh, check uh, desk pipeline here, asynchronous GPU and accelerate ASTC texture here. Just check them. And then in the resolution, uh, I have set them to two times resolution so that game will look much sharper and much more beautiful than the native resolution for the Switch. But if your PC can handle two times resolution, all you have to do is just to revert to one time resolution, which is the default resolution for the Switch. But for me, two times resolution is the best. So be sure to pause the video and copy every setting you see from here. Now, I'm going to go to advance. Here I have set mine to high. I have checked use VSync, use fast GPU use Vulkan pipeline cache and my anisotrophy filtering is set to automatic. Now go to audio tab down here. Everything is set to auto and my sound output is in stereo. Now in controls, I have connected my Nintendo Switch Pro controller and I have set my dead zone here in both uh, left and right sticks into 20% so that there'll be no drifting into my playthrough using my controller. So if you have a PlayStation or Xbox controller here, you can just connect them and just map them up according to your liking. And once done, hit OK. So that's how, how you optimize a uh, user emulator so that you'll be able to play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom here perfectly to your PC. So a little bit of disclaimer, I'm going to show you a gameplay of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom into my PC because we all know that this game is not uh, officially out yet and that it's just being released early and that we know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of, and kind of content and they want it to be shown in the internet or in YouTube. So if I show you a gameplay that The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is running into Yuzu and in my PC, then my channel will be get into trouble and that my channel will be taken down and my videos will be taken down. So I hope you guys do understand on that part. But as long as you have followed all the steps on this video tutorial, then I can guarantee you guys that you'll be able to play this game with no issues at all and you'll be able to get the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom running into your PC. So, if you have some questions regarding the installation process of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will try my best to answer all of them. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye for now.